I made an eternity carrot video sculpture and I'm gonna show it to you. Hey guys, today I'd like to show you a video sculpture that I created. I call the piece Eternity Carrot and it first premiered in the music video for my song Senga and this piece actually was the impetus for the whole music video in a lot of different ways. The sculpture is made up of a TV displaying footage of me running and reaching for a plastic carrot that's suspended from a stick that's attached to the TV. The video is set on a perpetual loop, so despite my incessant running and reaching, I never get any closer to the carrot. To me, the sculpture speaks of that unrestful state of wanting to constantly get ahead, to achieve, to succeed, and it also reflects that need to want to be accepted partly by others, but maybe most of all by yourself. And it's just that eternal hamster wheel and that empty promise reaching for something that constantly eludes you and is always just a little bit out of reach. It also feels fitting that for this sculpture, the carrot isn't even real. It's a plastic carrot. The sculpture is of course based on the principle of the carrot and stick. A stick with a carrot on a string is tied to the bridle of a mule, donkey, or horse, or held by the human rider so that the carrot extends down in front of the animal's head, just out of reach of the animal's mouth. Attracted by the sight and smell, the animal steps forward to bite at the carrot, but of course the carrot also moves forward and remains out of reach. This is repeated ad infinitum with the animal pulling or carrying whatever or whomever it's laden with until it collapses from exhaustion, never having reached the carrot. We shot the footage of me running here in an industrial complex in Ojai where we live and we chose to shoot on a weekend because we figured it would be pretty dead there then. And it was actually shot on my iPhone camera. I put the iPhone on a low tripod and put it in the back of our car. So I put it in the trunk and left the trunk open. And then my husband drove the car slowly with the camera on the tripod facing out in the back, filming me running behind the car. So that's how we got that footage. Mostly it was really quiet in the industrial complex that day, but we encountered a few people and one encounter was pretty funny. A woman who I guess had seen me from afar running behind the car came running out and was wondering if everything was okay. And she said she thought that I had left something in the car and that I was trying to run to catch up with the car. And that's lovely. It's very sweet of her to check in, but it's pretty funny if that was the case, because A, then why is my husband driving so slowly away? And why am I running so awkwardly and slowly behind the car in a way that doesn't allow for me to actually catch up with the car? And why am I reaching out toward the car? And also, why am I wearing a wig and a skirt suit? But you gotta love a good Samaritan who wanted to check in and make sure everything was okay. We also had this guy and his dog pop up in one of the shots. He, however, doesn't seem to think there's anything weird going on at all. I have to conclude this episode with a shout out to the founder of video art, Nam Joon Paik. Nam Joon Paik was a Korean American artist who worked in video installation and performance art. Some of his many notable works include TV cello from the 1960s, which he created together with classical cellist Charlotte Mormon. In that piece, they stacked televisions on top of one another to form the shape of a cello. And then when Charlotte Mormon would sit down to play the cello and draw her bow across it, images of Charlotte and other cellists playing their instruments would appear on the screens. They also collaborated on the piece TV Bra for Living Sculpture, and in that piece, Charlotte Mormon wore a bra with small television screens over her breasts. Nam Joon Paik's most famous piece may, however, be TV Buddha from 1974. It's a video installation depicting a Buddha statue viewing its own image on a closed circuit TV. If you'd like to see the music video for Senga in its entirety and see this piece in action in the music video, I'll link to that in the description below. And that's something I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.